Hello and welcome to Wednesday Ben's Day, where Ben plays a game on a day that's normally Wednesday. Yeah, so we're going to try something different this week, and instead of playing a high-octane shooter, or a low-octane shooter, or anything in between, or making any weird videos, I'm just going to kind of chill, play some Stardew Valley. Let's do it. I'm going to try and get through the first year, I think. I'm going to make this kind of like a semi-series, see if I can do the first year and then... If people like that, then we'll keep on going. Ah, farm name. We are Boppin'. Wait. Name, Boppin'. Farm name. Hmm. Oh, I should rethink this. We are Sun. And farm name is the Boppin' Farm. My favorite thing is perfect. We want a dog, because no one likes cats. I mean, people love cats. I love cats, but... Dogs are just better if you're on a farm, right? Because cats just multiply like crazy. Dogs actually kind of like keep track of stuff. Mm, kind of talking myself out of this. Anyway, I'm a dude. What even is that? Okay, now, main question, do we want Standard Farm, the completionist version, River, River, Land, b b b b b River Land Farm, the uh, people who like fishing, the Forest Farm, people who like trees and gathering and whatnot, Hilltop Farm, I guess if you really like getting stoned, and the Wilderness Farm, plenty of good land here, but beware, at night the monsters come out. Let's do the wilderness farm. I feel like even just a little bit of more challenge. We'll keep things a little more interesting, but at the same time, we're just here to chill. Okay, what should I make my... Yeah, I think the blue for the pants color is just going to be perfect. Eye color, I forgot to adjust that. Blue. Lack me. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to hit skip intro. Oh no. Well, we're going to have to watch this. Very special grandson. I want to have the sealed envelope. Okay. Give it to me. Oh. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I need to die before you can judge my gifts. That was kind of dark. I'm, I'm sorry. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh. <laughs> Did I mention this game's all about escapism, which is why it's, like, awesome? Because it's just the idea of saying, you know what, this whole modern life and stress and society and all that stuff, I'm just going to say no and go live on a farm. Which is awesome. X, X years later. I think two. <laughs> I like how this one has a much more finely shaped buttocks than the other. Just uh, wanted to point that out. What? He is really... Oh. 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 That's a... Uh, that's a little dark. Oh, there we are. Yeah, we're, we're tired. Oh my god! I haven't seen this uh, this intro in quite a while, if I'm going to be honest. It's uh, surprised me a little bit. Hmm. Dear Sean! So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was really confused. I'm like, I thought we just decided that I was his grandson, but no, that, that's my name. Well, I'm an idiot. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me a long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Money. Real connections. I mean, real connections with other people. And nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Boppin' Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast. 
It's a perfect place to start new start st start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and it and now it's yours. Yay! I hope you honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpappy. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, would ya? Yeah, Lewis is still alive. <laughs> He is very old, though. Hello, you must be. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to keep the voices going. Hello, you must be Sun. Yep. Yep. Uh, Robin, look, Carpenter. Hey, Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's here to try now tidying things rival. Cool. Farm's right over here. It's to the left, right? That would be crazy if when you choose a different farm, if it was like in a different direction. Bop and farm. Nice. Eh, it's a little overgrown. Don't worry about it. It's like a day and a half worth of clearing. Eh, good soil under the mess. A little dedication. Y'all have it cleaned up in no time. That's a French for no time. And here we are. Your new home. Ah, old man. Ah, the new farmer. That's me. Uh, welcome, Mary Lewis Pelkin. Everything's been asking. Not every someone moves in, it's quite. Thank you. So, you're moving. It's a good house. Very rustic. Honestly, that would actually be a really cool place to live. Like, just a single story, tiny little place. I'd like it. <laughs> Crusty. Yeah, screw you, Robin. No one likes you. Stop sending me texts. Don't listen to her, son. You my daddy? Oh, yeah. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied. Oh, yeah, you can buy upgrades from her. I yeah, must be real tired from long journey. Yeah, I took a bus the whole way here from America. <laughs> Crazy, right? And he wants me to introduce myself to all the townspeople. I might get that done within the first three years. We'll see. Anything to sell, just place it in this box here and I'll come by during the night to collect it. Good luck. See you later. You bastard. Oh, here we go, boys. Ha <laughs> ha. This is it. The intro to... Hey, nice. Oh. The intro to the hyper intense pro tips gameplay of Ben on Joe Ockren's channel. Again. So I'm thinking I'm going to lay out the first section of the farm over here. Probably make like a 15 by 15 by 15. Well, not 15 by 15. Yeah, 15 by 15 by 15. We'll uh, add another dimension onto this whole thing. Extra space for crops. That's, that's not how it works. But no, I'm probably going to set up the farm over here. Um, because then I can work my way over towards the greenhouse. And then later on, I can maybe do some livestock down, stuff down there. I've never actually... I think there's a way to finish the game. Probably has something to do with, like, getting married and then afterwards, like, living a great life and then dying. That's at least what uh, Harvest Moon... Uh, I think it was Friends of Mineral Town. Well, Friends of Mineral Town was, uh, like, the best game on Game Boy Advance ever. Like, all you Pokemon fans, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Castlevania, anybody else? No. Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town. 
and then more friends mineral town which is basically an expansion of it but it was basically the core game but you played as a woman instead of a man and then they just added random like quality of life things so like you were able to change your clothes and whatnot anyway basically basically this game is stop texting me oh no it's just people liking videos oh yeah cool anyway uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, Friends of Mineral Town. Basically, this game is Friends of Mineral Town, just like 80 times bigger. Because Friends of Mineral Town was an old Game Boy Advance game, and therefore, not really that large. But you know, it was fun. I loved it. It was one of those games that I had dumped so much time into as a kid, that like I know the whole thing from like top, top down, beginning to end. Crap, how many things did I dig there? Um, hold on. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do ten. Cool. Now, Later on, we're gonna try and get sprinklers. Also, I'm gonna now turn that off. Now that I counted it, because that's terrible. But later on, we are going to uh, get sprinklers, which will be awesome, because it'll mean that we don't have to water anything. Um, but until then, we're gonna have to water it all ourselves, so I find that making just general lines is kind of the easiest. Actually, why am I doing that? I can just walk in between. Yeah, we're just going to fill it all in. Yeah, why not? Also, I'm going to become exhausted pretty quick here. Which might be an issue. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's not it. Uh, there we go. I found it. There's a keyboard button, which is C, to uh, use your tool. I find that when, like, watering, um, I'm so used to using just a regular D-pad from all all the time in Friends of Mineral Town, or Harvest Moon games, that actually... Ah! Stop it! That actually, uh, using the mouse and keyboard can be a little iffy. By the next time I record, I might actually set up a... Oh! It's right there. Hold on. Intense gameplay. Slide my chair to the right. You know, you think when you built a computer, you'd remember where all the USB outs are, but no, I forget. Uh, is this one? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> now I can lean back and play with my controller that makes less noise than my mouse and keyboard. That also means I can readjust my gaming keyboard over there, which takes up way too much space, and position my microphone directly in front of me. Yeah. And no. Please tell me this actually works. I am so screwed. Well, we're screwed. So normally... Okay, I'm gonna have to go buy the, uh... Buy the plants now, and then plant them tomorrow. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so annoying. Oops. Oh. See, now that I'm actually playing with the controller, I've forgotten how to play with this controller. I have this game on, like, every console, by the way. So I have it on PC, which I'm, of course, playing that right now. Um, I also have it on the PS4, as well as the Switch. Yeah. Still haven't finished it. Love the game. Just never taking the time to finish it. But that's going to change, because this is going to blow up. We're gonna get like 
four billion subscriptions on this one. And it is going to be crazy. How many did I plant? 15 times. Well, that's as many as I can buy. So hopefully 25 will do just right. What's the quest? Oh, there's one. Wait. Yeah, no quest. Oh, well, Lewis's birthday is on the 7th. Oh, wait. If I'm lucky. Okay, no one's around. Oh. You think they'll see me? We're good. We got dumpster bread. Woo! Dumpster bread. I probably shouldn't have eaten that. I should have saved that for tomorrow. But no, we're fine. If we're lucky, we might just be able to plant all our stuff. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to water as much as I can. And then when I'm about to run out of energy, then I'll plant everything. That's the plan. <laughs> Intense gameplay. But no, honestly, Stardew Valley is a phenomenal game. It's one of those things that I generally play just to kind of chill. Which is why I've never really finished it, because I've never really gone into it with the mentality of, I need to beat this game. It's more so been the mentality of, yeah, let's, let's just not think about stuff for a while. And then I do. Okay. And... I think we might have watered, like, the perfect... Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> At five. Wait, oh, do I have enough wood to... Can I make a chest? Oh no, how much do I need? Oh no, I need like, uh, just a few more. Well, wait, what if I, do I know what this does? Will this give me, no, it will give me nothing. I wanna get rid of that. Perfect. And to sleep, I go. And there you go, day one. It's a pro tip guide. You know, you clear the trees and you sell that one thing for 30 Gs out. That'll help you down the line. I mean, it really won't. It's 30 Gs, but you know, yeah. Hello. I have mail. Hello there, just got back from, oh, Willie. Yes. Willie is bay. There's no way around it. So basically, just for anyone who doesn't know, the game is generally structured where money is your main driving point, but it's more so money to build on new stuff. So like, money is just nice, generally, but you know, you need money and resources to like, make a pen so you can have chickens, or make a barn so you can have larger livestock. Um, or you know, money to upgrade your tools so you can have a bigger farm or better fishing rods so you can do that stuff. So everything kind of cycles into making money. But you really don't do it just to make money. It's really more so like when you're playing the game, it it's, it's just chill zone. It's just chill zone 20 whatever year it is. Like doesn't matter what's going on anywhere else in the world. You are focused on keeping this farm alive and going and saying hi to your main boy, Willie. I came back from a fishing trip, and he's got an old fishing rod for you, and he's gonna give to you because his one goal in life is to keep the uh, enjoyment of fishing alive so you can fish. And fishing is actually another rather fun thing in this game. Also, always check the dumpsters. Well, I mean, okay, if someone's like in eye shot, Hey, I got the oh, that was close. If someone's in eye shot, then they will be like, what the schnozzle are you doing? Um, and then they'll get mad at you, and then your relationship status with them will drop. Which I know sounds like nothing, but relationship status in this game is money. It's all money. Hey Willie. Smoking his pap. 
Ahoy! Yep. I heard there was newcomer in... Yeah, they all sound like this. Don't even worry about it. Good, finally meet you. Ah, still trying to unwind from a month out at the salty sea. It's a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of art old fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop. Buy something! I'm sorry, I've been playing way too much Borderlands from the shop once in a while. Oh, you got it. I always thought this was kind of weird though, because you can you can buy a better fishing rod from them for pretty cheap, if I'm going to be honest. Like, in the grand scheme of the game, pretty cheap. And he spent, like, a month out on the ocean to save up to get a rod. Well, I suppose he just did it because he wanted to. But, yeah, it was, yeah, all kinds of fish. Hey, the shop's back open now. Come and see me if you need some supplies. Also, buy anything I catch. If it smells, it sells. Yeah, that's what old Papa used to say anyway. That, so, there's a lot of innuendos I could really add to that. I'm just going to look out into the sea and not worry about it. God, I love you, Willie. Yeah, generally, though, once you get into the game, it kind of breaks up into... Depending on what you like to do, um, you'll sort of make habits on what exactly you will do on a regular basis. So generally you start out your morning by watering your crops and making sure everything's good to go. Um, and then if you need to collect stuff, you'll go and collect it. But then generally like, you know, if you rather like fishing, you'll go to your regular fishing spot and you'll fish for the rest of the day with what's left of your energy. There are different ways to play this game, and I, I played specifically um, with some different people. One guy who was very kind of completionist, where he did everything like as utility-based as possible. Not that there's a bad way to do it, it's just a different way to do it. Um, and then I've also played with a couple of friends who were just... We just messed around. Why did we grow these crops? Well, because they look cool. And I spent most of our time just fishing, because the minigame is fun. Hey. Okay, and that should be enough to make a chest, right? Okay. All joking aside, I do actually have a pro tip. If you're not using a tool, just stash it. You're going to need the inventory space. And generally it takes a little longer, but the axe will take care of most things. So I'm not really going to be clearing much space, I just kind of wanted to chop this tree, and then I'll be fishing. Also, this is a conspiracy that I don't think is actually true, but I feel like for lakes and whatnot, whenever you fish them, for the first amount of time that you fish them, you hardly get any fish, and then the longer you play the game, oh, speaking of which, there's a fish in a tutorial. Yeah, so basically, you try and keep the fish in that green bar, but the green bar naturally drifts down to the bottom, so you kind of have to tap the button to keep it going. Yeah, sunfish, nice. Yep, glasses. Um, but no, so you can get either fish or just random garbage. Um, and I swear, the earlier you are in the game, the more garbage you get out of this stuff. And then as you progress, it's like you fish all the garbage out and then you just start catching actual fish. It might just be a crackpot thing, but I swear that's how it goes with every single game I play. Oh yeah, uh, disclaimer, don't expect anything terribly interesting to actually happen. Like, this is my chill game. This is... 
This is my comfy seat full of barbed wire that you just kind of sink into and you're like, oh, it all fits in the right places. I'll maybe crack a joke every now and then. Well, if you can consider my sense of humor as a joke. Welcome to super chill fishing time with Ben. Tell me, how was your day? Is that so? Hmm. Did she, she said what? <sighs> wow. That's nice. I'm sure you'll get it better tomorrow. Okay, that's all the positive positivity I have. Like, I'm, I'm drained. You know, they say dark humor is a lot like, uh, it's a lot like food. Not everyone gets it. I just had an apostrophe. That's a quote, by the way. No, I had an epiphany. I know what my first goal is going to be. I need to build Joe a cabin. Because the, how the multiplayer works in this game is you can have up to three other people play in your game. But the thing is, is that for each person, like if you start as a multiplayer game, it'll just spawn them in. But I started as a single player game. Um, but if you start as a multiplayer game, it'll just randomly spawn these little cabins that are specifically for the people that log in. And I think you can only have those specific people play on your server as well. Like if, for instance, Joe logged in into a cabin that I built. Oh, newspaper, don't need that. Then no one else could log into that cabin. I have to build another one. But anyway, if I get the resources built up, within the first year of playing the game, which should be pretty easy if I'm going to be honest. I'll try and go faster, maybe before winter hits. Um, but if I get the resources set up and actually build Joe a cabin, then that means that I have that much time to talk her into playing this game. And if the game actually kind of takes off and you people like this, uh, then I'll get Joe in and on it. Joe in and on it. In in yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do that. Day two, figuring stuff out. This is going to be a long series, by the way. I'm sorry. Don't you just love how my aspect ratio is so good that this area is actually just too small? Like the borders come in on either side. I find it funny, if I'm going to be honest. I am playing this on a 4K monitor, so... Uh, I'm sorry if things are a little small. I, I downscaled it to 2K or like 2.5 or whatever they call it. Why am I going over here? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna scavenge a little bit because another thing we gotta do is we gotta pick a Brad. Hello. Hello, Maru. I am the one who just moved in. You are Maru. Looking forward to meeting me. Ah, I love you. Well, maybe. She's the nerd one. She, her, I think her parents are the the, 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 the lady, this guy who's the researcher, and then the lady who does the, uh, the, the ability stuff. I think. I forget, but she's kind of, she's kind of, she's not the geeky one. Well, wait, hold on. What's the definition? What's the difference between geek, geek and nerd? I should know this being both in most cases. So geeks are normally like Star Wars, whereas nerds, wait, or is it the other way around? Who's like Star Wars? Hey, you, you clear that, you clear those rocks out person that I never see again once you're gone. <laughs> I can't wait to get to the mines. But no, so like, so the geeks or nerds are the ones who like fandoms and like sci-fi and fantasy and whatnot and can quote the entire Lord of the Rings novel series by heart. Um, and then the other ones are the ones who are like, they know at least like 46 different numbers of pi. And not the good kind of pi, like the numerical pi. Oh, I'm dying. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We do not die this day, but if monsters come out, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Run. 
Run, boy. Run. Oh, he's not gonna make it. Okay, we made it. Now yeah, we're fine. I'm going to sleep. What was I saying? <laughs>